Hello everybody. Today we're going to learn how to get input from the keyboard. Um, this is rather useful in game programming. That and the mouse and stuff. We're not going to use the mouse today, but we can. We also have the option to do that in Just Basic. But uh, yeah, so <clears throat> uh, let's get started. I've already gone in and made a basic window and done all the, the basic stuff here. Tra trapping the close event. Let's uh, make that label here. Close the window and end the program. Uh, so here, um, how are we going to be getting input from the, uh, the keyboard? Well, <clears throat> um, first you have to tell just basic what to do when there is input from the keyboard. And you do that by saying um, after the print command when character input go to yada yada branch label. And we'll just call that input or user input. Yep. Excuse me. <clears throat> um, also you will need to issue the command set focus. That um, sets the window as the. Uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, you, you you see how how can I illustrate this? Well, um, here let me open something and then you see how now the focus is on this window and not on the window behind it. See, now the focus is on this window. This uh, sets the focus on number one, on the, uh, on the window we want here. Um, and we need to do that because otherwise it's not going to be getting the... Um, it just doesn't work right there if you don't have that. So, now what do we need to do? Well, let's... Uh, I've loaded some BMPs into the program, some bitmaps into the program. Let's make some, uh, let's make some sprites. Sprites. Hmm. Well, my idea for this program is we're going to have three sprites. Um, one is the main character, the guy you control. Uh, we're just using the, the red ball we had before, so... So add sprite ball. That's the name of the sprite, and then the name of the bitmap is also no, it's red ball. Red ball. Add a sprite for the enemy, which I just used a, a sprite that was already created, uh, pizza or something. I don't know why you would want pizza, but whatever. We're going to make that the enemy, the bad guy. And let's see what else. Well, a background. I'm using the same background as the previous video. Um, background BG. Now, now what? Well, let's make some variables that will define the position of the, the red ball and the enemy. So we'll have um, uh, variables here. Um, X for the ship. Let's see, what should that be initially? Well, let's say we want it centered in the screen. How are we going to do that? Well, take the, um, the, excuse me, the window width and the window height divided by two. Window width, well, also, since the um, the the sprite itself has some width, I'll subtract some for that. And uh, in the y direction, we'll subtract even more because it counts the the top of the the window. I don't know what you call this bar up here, but it counts that. So we'll say 50. 
Uh, now we'll have a variable for the position of the enemy. We'll just call it enemy x. We'll just have him start from the corner somewhere. So let's just say a pixel over and a pixel down. And um, my idea for this is that the enemy will tr follow you around and you got to escape from him. And if he gets you, if he, if you run into him, you blow up. So basically, um, we're also going to learn a little bit about basic, basic AI. So that's pretty cool. But uh, so for that, we're going to end up needing to have the change in the variable of x for the enemy and in, in the y direction as well. And I'm, I'm thinking that's all we're going to need at this point. Now, when we get user input, what are we going to do? Well, it turns out that uh, just basic, just like uh, they have um, built-in variables for things like the window width, blah, blah, blah. They've got a built-in variable that holds the value of the key that is being pressed. So say a press down, it's called inky. Inky is a string variable. So say I press down the, I don't know, the letter B. The value of B gets stored in inky. So let's um, say that the character pressed is equal to that key. And then we'll just test to see. Now, how do we want to, how do we want to, um, mm, move our our ship well ideally we'd use the arrow keys but how do you type an arrow key i don't know i there might be a way i just have not ever seen a, ba a just basic program that uses arrow keys so <laughs> there probably is a way but i don't know it's just easier let's use the wasd key so w is up s is down a is to the left and d is to the right so or you could, you could also use I, J, and K, J, K, and L or something. They look like arrow keys too. Um, so, if the user presses W, we want our ship, or our little ball, to go up. So, if character is equal to W, then Y equals... Well, we'll subtract some from the previous y. And now, don't add any because it's measured from the top. So if it's going this direction, then we're subtracting some from y. And we'll just say an arbitrary number like eh, 10 pixels or something. Now, do that. Do the same for all the others. So for a, then x equals x minus 10. If character equals s, then y equals y plus 10. If character equals um, d, then uh, x equals x plus 10. Okay. Now, what we're going to do now? Well, we never did uh, issue sprite x, sprite xy command, so um, we probably want to do that up here. Come to think of it, or right around here. Print number one, sprite xy um, ball x and y. and draw sprites. Now, um, since this is probably going to be a two or three parter, let's uh, comment this out and um, just work on the ball moving for now. Um, 
So after you do all this, you're going to want to change the position of the ball. So sprite xy, ball x, and y. And don't forget to redraw sprites. And wait, because you don't want it to end. End the program. Um, ba -dum -ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -doo, ba -ba Let's try it. Hey, look at that. Oh, I'm moving the ball around the screen. How about that? I'll be it for a tater. Well, that's a good place to stop for the, the first part here. Stay tuned for the, the second part, and we'll work on the AI for the enemy and what happens if, if you collide with him. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.